Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a real treat for you. I have the Magical Mystery Bead Box from Jesse James Beads. I cut it open, but I didn't look at it, so <laughs> I wanted to be surprised just like you guys. So here we have Treasure Trove for May 2022. Journey to the depths of the deep blue sea with sparkly treasures from Jesse James Beads. And this is everything in it. Very exciting. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Wow. Can I just say wow? Oh, look at these. Oh. Seashell Heishi beads. <clears throat> oh, these are gorgeous. Oh. oh look at these. Oh, very excited. Very excited. Oh, and there's even more in here. Oh, oh, <clears throat> wow. Wow, wow. Oh, and I love this. I always save this stuff and reuse it. <clears throat> I think it's really good. So let me set up and I will be right back. Okay, so here we start out with the seashell Hishi bead strand. Wow, this is gorgeous. There's a pretty long strand there. <clears throat> Doesn't say how long it is. Let me get my, my ruler here. Let's do a, it's about 14 inches. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a tickle in my throat here. Um, yeah, these are really pretty. The holes look really nice. Very pretty. The next is the Ocean Floor Natural Stone Geode Pendant. And that has to be this beauty right here. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> This is absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty gold around it. I see hoop already. All you have to do is make a beautiful necklace to add it to. The next is the bead strand in Sandy Shores. Oh. Look at this. Look at these. These are really cool. It's like wiring over the pearl. <clears throat> some cage beads. Love me some cage beads. And then these beautiful shell and pearl beads. Gorgeous. I just go, oh, and look at this. It is loaded with seashells. And look at these huge bead caps that it goes around, go around it. <clears throat> wow. Here's another one. Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. I made, um, I think it was from last month's box, I made a pair of cage bead earrings. Just a plain one to go with. Um, they had the flower bells. Um, and I made kind of a busy necklace. So I just made something very simple to go for the earrings. So the necklace stood out. It turned out really pretty. Wow. <clears throat> That's really pretty. And next is the bead strand in Tide Pool. That's right here. Oh, wow. Oh, these are pretty. Absolutely beautiful. I love when they give you more than two of a certain bead. So if you want to make a pair of earrings with them, can do that or use it in a necklace on both sides or do something more abstract and eclectic and just have one side even. Yeah, these are really pretty. I love those. <clears throat> okay. Next is um, enamel chain in white. That's this right here. 
Where is the opening? Oh, here it is. Usually we get chain reactions, so this is different. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, and it has a, it has um. this one has a hoop, so you can uh, take this part and use it if you want. Or you can use it as one long strand. So yeah, you see there's a hole and there's a hoop in each one. So this is really pretty. Let me see how long this is. <clears throat> Let me see here. Oh. Let me see. Twelve. Like about maybe eighteen and a half inches. It's a nice, it's a nice little strand there. Okay, and the next one is bead mix in under the sea. Oh, very pretty. And do this here. Of course, my scissors are in the other room. <clears throat> I always, after I open these, I put these, um, when I put them back, I put them back in a plastic bag. And then I just put the little, uh, the name, the label name on, in the bag with it. Yeah, and I reuse all my bags. So after I use all the, the beads, then I uh, put the bag back to be used for something else. So let me see that. Take that out. Oh, and there's tape. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, here. <clears throat> Peel off my nail polish. There we go. Okay. Very good. Wow, look at these. Oh, look at how cute this is. The hole comes out there at the top of the star. <laughs> oh, and little sea turtles. Little sea turtles living in Florida. These are our little babies down here. I don't know if you've ever seen videos of baby sea turtles at night. They ask everybody to um, stay up the beach. They kind of like rope off the beach and you see all the little eggs hatch and they just all take off for the water. It's just amazing how they know to do that from the moment they're born. They're so cute. Well, let's see. We'll have these. These are pretty. Put them into this. <clears throat> Got some flowers. And they have a um, little hole right there on the top. I don't know if you could see that. That's kind of nice. We got his earrings, little dangly earrings. These little ones. Very cute. And here's another one of this, the little star ones. I love that they give you an even amount. So you could use them to make earrings. You can use them on a, a necklace, whatever. These are pretty... I did actually use these on a, I, we got one kind of like these in one of the other boxes and I used them to make um, a pair of dangle earrings. Mm -hmm. 
Very pretty. Hmm. We got like eight of these. Very pretty. <clears throat> My mind is just going crazy with all the ideas <laughs> I'm getting for these. <laughs> these are so pretty. I love that they give us mixed metal too because I I do like to um, cross lines like that and mix a couple different metals. I think they just look really pretty. Those are nice. And some of the green ones in here. Get eight of those. And these little green ones here. Very pretty. And then, oh, these little <clears throat> crystal ones. There's a few more in here. Beautiful. And then these, um, these cute little gold spacers. Very pretty. I'm gonna put this over here with this one. And the next one is Treasure Trove. Very pretty. Okay, let's see this one. Oh, this one's taped too. <clears throat> They're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> okay. Tape to the side. Oh, I'm very impressed with this one. Oh, look at these. They're cage. Oh, they're sea turtle cage beads. Oh, how cute is this? So you can put a bead inside of there. And then uh, it closes up. Oh, how cute! So you can personalize. You can personalize your uh, <clears throat> your sea turtle with a different color bead if you want. We have these. These are really pretty. Um, let me see. We have. Dump them out here. Okay. These are very pretty. Very pretty. And here's these. Very pretty. Love, love, love. These look like sea glass. Round. And then there's two of those. Very pretty. Oh, and look at these. <clears throat> Little hole in the top there. Very pretty. Very pretty. And let me see here. We have four of these. Very pretty. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love these. Look at how sparkly they are. Like little spacers. I love that they are giving us an even number of everything now. Because you know when you have leftover beads, you can always like make like three or four different pairs of earrings if you have the same beads. These are really pretty. These almost look like little potato chips. I don't keep potato chips in my house because I love potato chips. <laughs> if I have potato chips, they're usually in my belly and not in the um, pantry. <laughs> so, and look at these. These are so pretty. 
This box is just beautiful this month. Here's a little starfish. Very pretty in the hoops right there. And here's some, some rhinestone, rhinestone spacers, or you can use them as bead caps. Very pretty. <clears throat> and then these, these are gorgeous. Very pretty. So sparkly. And then these, these are really cool. Something different, they have the holes there on the top. I see a lot of earrings out of these extra beads. <laughs> For anybody that does like um, any kind of shows or craft fairs and we have these these are really pretty too <clears throat> okay the last one um, well there's bead mix and seashells so there's this and then there's one focal There we go. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting used to these now. <laughs> oh. Very pretty. Oh, these are really pretty. Love. Oh, I love the shells. I definitely see a lot of earrings. Fun earrings if you have friends when birthday's coming up in the summer you can make them some some earrings those are gorgeous oh and look at these oh these are definitely look at these little seashells like an kind of like I don't know if an antique kind of like an antique bronze almost because it's not I this looks more copper it's not brass. It's kind of in between a copper and a brass. How cute. Got the gold ones here. <clears throat> Very pretty. And the holes go through the top there. And then we have these little, oh, look at these. Seashells. Oh, it comes through the top like that. We have four of these. Looks like an abalone shell. Very pretty. And then these little babies. Holes <laughs> there on the top. Very pretty. Very pretty. <clears throat> we have one more thing left. That and then the last one is Beachside Ceramic Focal. Wow, <clears throat> wow, this is beautiful. Look at that. I love the blue on there, like that. And here's the, the hole there, it comes through the bottom, and this is filled in right here make a beautiful pendant this makes me want to take the rest of the day off and go out to Siesta Key where I live <laughs> well within 30 minute drive I'm very blessed to live here in Florida I love living here <clears throat> well I will say Jesse James beads did a great job this month these are some beautiful beads absolutely beautiful knocked it out of the park so and it says um, summer sale, get a free bead mix with your 
$79 or more cart. Add mix to the cart and use code MERMAIDS at checkout to redeem. Offer in 6 2022 limit one per order. Cannot be combined with other, other orders. So I'm really, really impressed with this month's box. So I can't wait to get working with this. And um, I will show you guys what I made when the, I get done working with it. <laughs> so thank you everybody for tuning into my channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up for this video so I know you like it. And let me know in the comments below if you get Jesse James beads boxes monthly and what you think of them if you like them. And also um, below I have my Facebook, Etsy, Instagram, and Pinterest links if you'd like to follow me on any of them. Um, I would appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. And um, I uh, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you soon on my next video. Take care.